San Sinchico. Te voy a decir, I'm back from Cuba. And I'm going to tell you, Mr. Robert Black made it all possible for me to come back. Believe it or not, I am back now. My papers all in order. The green car is in the parking lot. It's green corn! What did the INS storm in here? What the hell is, is that a Cuban cigar? I want to say, I love all you SPW fans. It's good to be back here now. And I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the next mayor of Los Angeles, California, Mr. Robert Black.
Yeah, that's right. Oh, wait a minute, Rivera, do you hear the music? The music. The street fighter from the front. I remember this from the last time. You weren't even here the last time. What the hell are you talking about? Watch the tape. People do it. Tape. Really? You get tapes over there? Oh, well, there he is! It's New Jack! Chico, I got the tapes. Bad X to me. Never mind about the tapes, man. What's I say in the church? Boogie Teeth? Uh, Boogie Teeth. You should have! Boogie Teeth. can't even breathe, let alone speak the English language. Look at the face of this guy. This, this is a crazy man. A crazy. A guy you do not want to meet in the street. Of course not. I mean, this guy, one of the heart. I mean, this guy's a lone wolf in this group. He's not aligned himself with anybody. Last month at New Year's Revolution. You might be the mayor of one thing, sucking my d Whoa! Ooh. He's coming back. Coming back straight at Robert Black. What the hell is this? Oh, do you know who that is, Rivera? That, that's Big Grime. This Big hope Grime. That you gained your partner. What the hell is Grime doing here? Because she can suck my d too. Really, New Jack? Did I ever tell you that payback is a bitch? New Jack, behind you, look out! Look out! From behind, it's Big Grimes! No! Oh! Sneak attack! Pearl Hart! And he hit him with New Jack's own guitar! What is this? Big Grimes! Obviously! Oh, wait a minute, here comes the Messiah! In the entire Black Army! No! Damn it, no! Is this what they're talking about, the payback? Grime to lining himself with Rob Black. Oh no! Oh, the pizza cutter! No! Right across the forehead. This is sick. Pizza cutter. Rosado Crone is holding New Jack down. Punk Grime slices the forehead right open. And now look at Crone is going to work on There's New Jack. Your hero. We have reached. There's nobody going to be able to help him. I can't believe this. Where the hell did crimes come from? Big crime! We have reached a new level of violent crap. The pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Chico, what is this? What is... Who come up with this idea? This is not numero uno pizzeria. This is not any kind of Italian restaurant. What the hell is a pizza cutter doing? I mean, look at Nucek already busted wide open. And the entire black army in the ring demolishing Nucek. And this is the first time Grimes and New Jack have seen each other since that tremendous fall they took in that other promotion that was recently on life support. I think the plug was taken out of the old socket back in Philly. And you notice Robert Black pointing in the air, the Donald Trump of the porno business, pointing in the air. Oh, and there he goes. You're Big right, Rivera. Going Big to run. High out the dude. From the top. Drop the elbow. New Jack. This is your hero. Hey, Chris Cross, you mentioned that match that Big Grime and New Jack had about uh, months ago. Months and months ago. That they, these two guys almost killed themselves. And New Jack has sustained major injury from that fall. Very evident right now. And look at this, the Black Army talking about him being injured. I mean, look at they're trying to prove something here. Six on one. I mean, give me a break, crack. It was all oh, New Jack. Bonus with the chair shot. This reminds me of Rodney King. This Rodney six, King. Six guys beating up one innocent man. About nine years ago, right here in SoCal. You're exactly right. And look at this. Crimes from the top again, New Jack. No. You know what? I have to take that back. Maybe New Jack isn't so innocent. There's so many justifiable homicides. Because this guy have under his bed. I don't know. I'm not thinking about that right now, Rivera. All I'm thinking about is the Rob Black Army. Idiot. Rob Black. This guy wants to be our mayor here in Los Angeles, California? Kidding me. And look at this. Continuing the onslaught. Who's on the new Jack. New Jack? parading around with that microphone. What the hell is he proving right now? Your buddy Rivera. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Rivera. Lock. Run down. Face. Oh, yeah. 
this truth in power of the Robert Black Army, not to be played with. Here he is, your buddy, Rivera. All I have to say is that the problem that exists with me and Mr. Robert Black, everything is fixed now, control, back in action. And he stopped really facing a hole. And what did you know about Grimes, Rivera? I mean, I know you got close ties to Rob Black. Where the hell did he come from? Keep that a secret Wait, right now. What do you know? What do you know, Rivera? Don't ask me. Look at this mess, the aftermath of the massacre. And we're just getting started here in Van Nuys. TV, what happened? Is that a Cuban cigar? I know it's a Cuban cigar. That's right, Chico. I'm back. I am back. Wrestling fan, you are looking at Larry Rivera back from Cuba. And Chico, let me tell you, you think this was a deportation? This was a vacation for me, Chico. Vacation? You see all the women running around Larry Rivera trying to get a piece. Oh, a piece of me. Let me tell you something, Chico. All the differences between me and Mr. Black are resolved. Everything is fine. I got my green car. It's in the parking lot. No, man. Thank Never you mind. to Mr. Robert Black. I am back here. All you fans that, that were worried that you may never see the Larry Rivera. Oh, yeah, bro. What is with Tranquila that con la horra, bro. Many of you were afraid that you will not see me again. But, as you saw, at the Birmingham High, the payback is a bitch. I am back. Thank you to Mr. Robert Black and to all the fans at SPW. Chico, you live with it now. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to get ashes all over the place. Illegal ashes, mind you. You better hope the, uh, the old tobacco company doesn't find you with that here. Castro, indeed. Hey, what about the happenings at Payback's a bit? We Crazy. Saw, we saw New Jack. I mean, 
basically they get demolished. And what about the, the debut? That's right, Vic Grimes is here at XPW. Let me tell you something about this new yacht. You know, part of the problem for me getting, getting back to their beautiful land of Cuba was because I was suspected of bringing in this new yacht. Let me tell you something. You I can't get that. further from the truth. Brother from the truth, brother, because this guy is a thug. He has no consideration for the human life for justifiable homicide. Can you believe that? Justifiable. What are we doing bringing in this kind of person? And how can you defend saying that I am responsible for bringing this chico? I'm losing my mind. Rumors have been circulating around the office here at XPW Rivera. You're going to have to justify yourself a little bit better than that. But what about the matches we saw? We saw tonight we're going to see him. Mr. 80's Dynamite D goes one-on-one -on -one against John Cronus. You see the hairdo? I saw the hairdo. The hairdo? I, 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 had, I had shades of Mohawk. Mr. Rooster Rivera. Yo, Cronus. And don't forget, match. don't forget about the match between Juventu Guerrera and Steve Rosano in white trash Johnny Webb interjecting himself in that match, becoming a three-way dance. You know, he was supposed to be in that originally, oh, oh. but he went out and drinking with the pastillas. Yeah. He was passed out in the parking lot. They had to wake him up to get in the ring. I, I You know, I've had my share of, of guys boozing, talking about it. This was spring. an incredible night, wrestling fan. The payback is a Stay tuned right now on the TV because we're going to see a few of the matches from that night. So don't go anywhere. You know what's good for you. <laughs> Put that out. That's disgusting. <laughs>
Folks, we're two weeks away. February the 24th, Birmingham High School, Patriot Hall, whatever you want to call it, on the corner of Victory and Balboa in Van Nuys, California. Now, ringside seats are completely sold out. Sold out. Sold out. However, tickets are still available. Three ways to get them. You can come to the XPW box office, located at 16140 Leadwell Street. That's in Van Nuys. Or you can get on the horn, get on the old blower, and get the credit card. Get the credit card. You don't steal it. Get your own card. Remember, hide the, the, the screen because the credit card is high security. Oh, and before I forget, the white trash Johnny Webb this last Saturday at the payback, he said, when we're talking about the death match tournament, white trash Johnny Webb show up at the Birmingham High demanding a match with Messiah, the current king of the death match. Yeah, exactly. But the things didn't work out like Mr. Webb expected it. So right now, let's go to the ring and take a look at the footage. Oh, 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 Romero. Hey, oh. the Chico, I'm oh. going to say something after my recent increase to Cuba. Who I have you? seen oh. the most beautiful women in the world, with the exception of one Miss Jessica Dali. Oh, look at the Johnny Webb fan club in the front row. Fellow Beard. Oh, oh. I'm sure they are passing him, Matias oh and Cerveza. Did you see the way her uh, hands go? Kind of curve, curve up and then curve I, I saw that. I saw that. That's very beautiful. Very beautiful women. Oh, my God. Fellow beer drinkers. Of course, uh, Webb's fan club there sitting ringside. White Crash, Johnny Webb, enters the ring. Of course, always with his trusty kendo stick. And what's he doing here? Is this damn thing on? How are all my poor horsemen tonight? Let me see it. All right. All right, now, let me, let me holler at you. Sit me down now. All right. So I come out here last time, right? And I say, I'm serious now. I want to be a, I want to be a deathmatch champion. I want to be the heavyweight champion of the world. I say, I want the Messiah. I want to move. Give me somebody that matters around here. So what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. Oh no. What's he gonna show us? He's going in his pants. Is he drunk already? The skinny little Jewish boy walks out, and he says. I found some guy named Lester, and, and, and he just lost a few minutes ago, again. So, anyway, we're going to go through this one more time. You just don't, wanna... don't learn your lesson, do you? It's Kevin Kleinrock Rivera, Vice President of Operations. He's going to face Webb face to face. This little dork. He's got the rub shirt on. Listen to me. You see, you don't listen very well, Webb. Don't piss me off. Hey. Don't piss me off. I'm just trying Where's to Where's the Messiah? Where's Zebu? I told you at New Year Revolution that if you beat Supreme, then when Messiah became world champion, like he was supposed to, then you get a shot at that title. I never said anything about a shot for the king of the deathmatch top. Did any of you hear me say anything about king? Whoa! Wow. Bango. Look at Patrick Hernandez, the referee applauding. Come on in, come on. Get a piece. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Here, let me show you. Look at Webb, stomping away at Blind Rock. Look at that, look at Jessica jumping around. Look at this, we found Waldo, now we see it has to be done with emotion. You understand? We'll work on it. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I guarantee you, we will be back. We will be back. It's cocktail hour now. I'm gonna go have me a drink. Or two, or three, or four, or five. You hear that?
that, just as predicted, Johnny Webb heading to the Cerveza. And probably a few pastillas in between. Yeah, I, I heard it, but what does he mean by he's going to be back? And look at Kleinrock. Oh, look at that sad little face on this Dweebo Dorgo oh, dude. Yeah. Show respect. Show, Show some respect. respect. I'm telling you, you got in trouble. <laughs> Did you see that, Rivera? Did you see that? That Kevin Kleinrock? That dorky dweebo dude Joe got back to respect that guy, man. That guy's a dorko. I saw, you know, I was reading a book of Where's Waldo. I found him. He was a Patriot Hall, a paybacks of, and he got blasted from behind by white trash Johnny Webb. And Webb promised that he would come out later and booze in a little there. He said, "What else? What do you expect?" From Johnny Webb. Well, you, you the drinking the booze, the pastilla. Pastilla. But speaking of the drinking, another match we saw that night that we're going to take a look at right now in Bob. The Dynamite D, one of the most famous caricature impressionists of 1980 wrestling. Dynamite D as he takes on Cronus. And tonight we have the special added attraction of Dynamite D portraying. Cronus, before he started, you know, Chico. Just like oh, yeah. Webb, yeah. 5XL, the t shirt, Quint Quintuple. Quintuple. There you go. So, that's what we're going to take a look at right now Dynamite D with the Mohawk Cronus versus the new day, modern day, John Cronus. And hey, get that cigar away. Right at the payback is a. I'm going to. The Birmingham High. I'm going to blast in your nose. Let's get go that, to the food. Get that away from me. Okay, Larry Rivera, here comes John Cronus coming down to the ring now. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Rivera, I got my papers here in front of me. Something something must be wrong. I mean, it, it appears it says Cronus versus Cronus for tonight's card. Cronus versus Cronus. Yeah, look, look. Give me that paper. Look, it's right here. You see this, you see this crap. That's right, Cronus v. Cronus versus the D is Rivera. And listen. What? What is? Oh no! Don't tell me, Rob. No, give me no. Another invention on the mind of Dynamite D. I mean, I remember, I remember Mr. 80s. He would impersonate some of the stars of the 80s, but John Cronus, and he's going against Cronus. I should have known all along. What is with the Mohawk? No, Cronus is showing. John Cronus. But wait, wait, which not, Cronus are you talking about? I'm talking there? about John Cronus in the ring. Not, that one right there? That's, that's D Cronus. That's D Cronus? That's D Cronus. Is that what he is? D Cronus? D Cronus, that's John Cronus. Now, what does Cronus make of this? It looks like uh, Dynamite's asking for the uh, microphone here from ring announcer Lucky J. Coronas from the 80s, brother. When I was in shape, look at my belly. This is my beer gut now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're wicked. You fans are wicked. Oh, I love it. This beer. Oh, yeah, this beer is sick. This beer is sick here. You can drink a beer for your beer belly. Chico, show some respect. Esto es una falta fa de respeto. Look out. Oh, wait a minute, look at this from behind. The real John Cronus number one, I guess we'll call it. Look at that clothesline. And D goes down. And look at that, another one. Hey, D. Cronus just lost his Mohawk. And look, he's putting it back on. This guy's a goof. Oh, look there at that he goes another again. One. And there goes the Mohawk. It flies once again. Looks like a little like a possum in the ring. I, whatever. D. Cronus has lost half his personality. Well, look at this. B Bone Suplex coming up in a beauty. He nailed him on that one. Beautifully executed. D. Wong by Mr. Young Cronus. John Cronus, the original, may be having a few too many T-bones of late. Uh, Mr. 80's making a little fun of Cronus. Oh, look at that boot caught Cronus coming right in. And look at the bulldog right from the top rope. Lion bulldog. He's going for the pin early. Only two. And what an upset that was last month when D got the victory over Hooby and Steve Rosano. I mean, he's on a roll right now. Dynamite D with the clothesline of his own. And Cronus. 
What a shakeup that was when he hit the ground. Oh, look, up and over. Right under the floor and under the security railing, Rivera. You have to hand it to D. Cronus because this is another tremendous mismatch in sight. Certainly is. And look at this. D. Cronus catapulting him high cross volando, body. Volando como un pescado ahí, chico. Viste eso? Beautiful. D. Cronus. D. Cronus. Now D. Cronus stomping away. Huge crowd here tonight at Patriot Hall in Van Nuys, California. Oh, look at this Irish whip reversal. D. Cronus right into that ring post. Right into his rib. Inside. Look at that. He's holding him. Photographers from all over the world covering this event tonight. You know, a lot of people making fun of, of Mr. Dynamite D. 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 Cronus, but when you look at the situation, he has more gut than possibly anybody in the XPW. Always going against guys two, three times bigger than him. Well, I, if you want to talk about guts, I think you're talking about this Cronus right here. Look at the size of it. What was it, a quintuple X t-shirt? Oh, look at that D head first into the steel chair. 5X, 5XL, Chief. And these two, for the, for the majority of this match, have been fighting out here on the ringside area, not in the ring. Patrick Hernandez trying to get both men in now. That's Cronus number one trying to fire in Cronus number two. I mean, this is nuts, Rivera. I have never seen a wrestler go in a ring and impersonate his opponent. Only here in XPW and only Mr. 80's Dynamite D. And here comes an Irish whip. Reversal by Cronus. Oh, spinning heel kick. Love it or hate it, ladies and gentlemen. You get the most unique personality right here in the XPW. You got that right. And look at this. Whoa, John Cronus going to the top already. Oh, no, Rivera. We've seen this before. The look famous at the size move. of him. 450. Oh. 450 Hellfire Splash. Two. It's over. Cronus number one is victorious in Dynamite Streak Ends tonight in Van Nuys, California, Rivera. There you have it, the original Cronus defeating the imposter, Mr. The Cronus. The OG, as they say, down on the hood. Is that how you say it? That's o right. O That's correct. OG dog. Original. John Cronus. There he is. Look at that. That behemoth. Open man. And look at Mr. 80's Dynamite D. Barely stumbling. What a match that was. Now what a crowd, Chief. Folks, right now we're going to take a look at some highlights from the first annual XPW King of the Deathmatch Tournament a year ago from Hollywood, California. Because as you know, coming up in two weeks, February the 24th, the second annual King of the Deathmatch Tournament. And of course, three ways to get tickets. You can come to the XPW box offices located at 16140 Ledwell Street. That's in Van Nuys. You can get your credit card and call 818-779-6479. Also, the credit card can be used at www.xpwrestling.com in two weeks from Van Nuys, California at Patriot Hall on the campus of Birmingham High School. What a night it's going to be. That's right, Chris Cross. I want to remind the fan, like I said before, you're going to get the ticket on the internet, in the website, cover the screen, Chico, the credit card, high security. But let me tell you something. This is violent crap. I can't take it. I can't take it. We're going to see more of this stuff right now. Highlight. We're going to see highlights from Hollywood. Highlight of the violent crap. A huge show from Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, this was brutality at its most brutal. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is Everybody sucks. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. No human contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. Your best bet is to stay away, motherfucker. It's just one of those days. It's all about the heat that heat that Yeah, you better watch your back, cause I'm f***ing up your program. And if you're stuck up, 
you just messed up. Next in line to get messed up. Your best bet is to stay away, mother. It's just one of those days. It's all about the heat. since Juventud Guerreras hit the scene here in XPW, he's had a tremendous feud with the gigolo Steve Rosano. Now, last month at Van Nuys, California, Patriot Hall at New Year's Revolution, those two were involved in a three-way dance along with Mr. 80's Dynamite D. Now, Hoovy, when the match climaxed, Rivera, Hoovy hit the Hoovy driver, but then Rosano pulled Mr. 80's over on top of Hoovy, covered them both, for the one, two, three, and the big surprise! Mr. 80s was victorious. A huge upset in Van Nuys. You want two, three? Yeah, that's how you count. That's right. That's right. But the stage was not over for Rizono and Juventud Guerrera because last Saturday night at the Bay Rash of Birmingham High School, we saw the final confrontation between Steve Rizzono and Juventud Guerrera. But White Trash, Johnny Webb made good on his promise to go out and get borracho, smash, drunk, whatever you want to call it. And he came in, injected himself into the situation, and it was another completely different story. And that's what we're going to see right now. Right now? Right now on the XPW TV. What the hell is a borracho? The sky above and the dressing room have a lot in common. There's a lot of big stars in the sky and there's a lot of big stars in the dressing room. There's a lot of shooting stars in the sky and there's a lot of shooting wrestlers in the dressing room. Not to mention the brightest star in the sky is the sun and my man Steve Rosano the Jingle is my son to me. And I want to introduce him right now, the one and only future heavyweight champion of XPW, the Jingalo, Steve Rosano. All that just to introduce Rosano? Get to the point already. Look at the tremendous upper body development. Well, he hasn't come out yet, Rosano. I'm talking about Playboy body rolls. You're talking about who? Look at that. And there he is, the Jigolo Steve Rosano. And look, he's got his robe back. We saw Mr. 80's impersonating, well, he was ravagingly dynamite, stole Rosano's robe. He finally got it back. He's still making the porno videos. What's with the strut? I mean, this guy. Look at this guy with the peach man mask in the front. The guy is so full of himself. Look at that guy yawning. I mean, come on. Who the hell cares? 
I mean, he claims, well, Rose claims he's the future champ. And now look at Rosado just strutting and cutting his way into the ring. Oh, no. Not the shucking and jiving again. That's right, the dancing, the, the moving around, the porno videos. That's all a distraction because the people to realize that Steve Rosano, the Eagle, is actually an excellent wrestler. It's the new millennium. They've got Extreme Real TV. They got the XFL. LA's got the LA Extreme. And the most exciting wrestler in wrestling, the most exciting wrestler, the Rosado, the Gigolo Steve Rosado. I think I'm going to start yawning. <laughs> Consider the source, Gigolo. Source? There's shut up! Well, Ben out of shape this week, Rosano and Rose. Trying to compose himself. Buddy, there's also something that's extreme, and that is Reseda is the highest city for collecting welfare checks in L.A. And that, my friends, is positive. It's positive. Well, we are in Van Nuys. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Maybe I'll look at the map one of these days. <laughs> now, I look around this room, and I think most of the women, no, wait, all of the women in this room wanna be my bitch. Oh, oh. He's talking not to you men, but to your wives, your sisters, and your daughters. And I'll tell you something else. I think these two guys down here in the front row wanna be my bitch also. We won't go there. We're not gonna go there. Hey, I have a sweet ass. I can't help it. He does. Chico, what kind of crap is that? Rose. <laughs> Rose agrees Rosano's got a sweet ass? Look at the hourglass shape of Playboy Buddy Rose. Uh, more like a bowling ball shape, Rivera. This buddy is a prime example of families that inbreed right there. Families that inbreed. Now, down to business. Speaking of families, pleasure to have the host, the family feud, Louis Anderson. Oh, I mean, Playboy, Buddy Rose. But listen to the crowd, Roberto. We'll just wait. I think they agree. That's it's what my teacher used to do in the classroom. I just wait. Shut up. Is this Louis Anderson? Rosano, no. I was talking about the relationship between the dressing room and the sky and all the big stars. There's also one other thing in the sky, and that's aliens. And we got an alien back there by the name of Proven 2 Guerrero. Oi, hola, oi, alien oi, in this country. Place, You're crossing the line. Not only one, oi. Oi, two aliens. I'm a Rivera. I'm a big fan of the Rose, but he's crossing the line. And there he is, Rivera. Professional wrestling. And look at Hoobie, look at Rosano. All this talk. Look how scared. Stand out yet, getting out of the ring. You're looking at a product of years and years of wrestling tradition. Not like here, where these guys pick up the backyard, getting the, the tires and the mattress. This is a product of hard training with his father, Fuerza Guerrera. Years, years and years and hours and hours in the ring for a lot of this backyard crap. A little uh, confidence builder there, a little hug from Rose before Rosano beats 
and you said the experienced technician, one of the legends in our sport, Juventud Guerrero. And what a mark he's making for himself here at XPW. All you junk kids, get out of the backyard, chicos. Start watching these guys like Juventud Guerrero. Learn the basics, the fundamentals. Cachas, cash, can, Greco, Roma. Forget about the light bulb and the bar wire, brother. And listen to this crowd here in Van Nuys, California. Approval on one side and disapproval for that man right there, Steve Rosano. And Hoobie's in tremendous shape. I mean, this is the biggest I've seen in his career, I think, Rivera. Look at the, the development of Juventud Guerrero, almost on par with Buddy Ross. And what's with the development, if you want to call it, with Rosano? I mean, these guys, when you look at both of them, you can see who's a superior athlete when it comes to technical wrestling. And you know who I'm talking about, Rivera, your buddy, Hoobie. That's right, the man. Here Although he's going up against one of the members of the Robert Black Army, you know me, always respecting the Lucha Libre Profesional. Headlock takeover into a head scissors from Hoobie. Rosano popping right out of it. Another headlock takedown from Hoobie. And a head scissors from Rosano. So far, a scientific wrestling match here. Beautiful counters, back and forth. This is the way it's done. And Hoobie perhaps giving Rosano a little lesson in technical wrestling. Strade, strade. And listen to the packed house here in Van Nuys, chanting Hoovy, Hoovy. This match officially underway. Patrick Hernandez in the ring. And look at the shove off by both men. Rosano, not backing down though, shoving him back. Oh, did you hear the chop? Pow. As the fans react to him. Putting the handprint on the chest. And Hoovy, man, he just lays him in thick. You can hear that. You can see the chest, very red. Oh, Rosano. What's he doing now? Wait a minute, Hoovy, look at this. Baseball slide right to the back. Oh, and he caught him on that one, Rivera. That was a hard impact on the guardrail. Another flying double axe handle from Hoovy. And wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk about a brick wall. Talk about the Berlin Wall. Trying to get around that object, Playboy Buddy Rose. That's quite an obstacle. Right. Irish whip. Oh, look at that. Rosano right into the security rail. You can hear the crash, Rivera. High, high impact maneuver. Moving to Guerrero, stomping on the head of Steve Rosano. has got this match well in hand thus far. Another chop here on the ringside area as Hoobie shoves Rosano back into the ring. And we're about to get ready to see more action. Look at this. Look at Rosano begging for mercy. Getting none whatsoever. On the knees. Snapmare takeover. Off the rope. What a snapping quick leg drop that was. Going for the cover. Maybe a little premature. Only two. Patrick Hernandez right there for the count. And now Hoovy with another side headlock. On the gigolo Steve Rosano. Rosano trying to counter. Irish whip. Shoulder block. Rosano goes down. Up and over Hoovy. Off the ropes again. Leapfrog. Oh, look at that somersault. Into a spinning heel kick. Caught Rosano right on the jaw, Rivera. Perfect placement, perfect execution. And I got to hand it to you. I mean, you talked about moving to Guerrero in the beginning of this match. The technical, the aerial abilities this guy has. And he's shown us. He's a complete package. And this is, he's going against an opponent that doesn't tend to have those abilities. Still showing us. And look at Rose. Hey, look at the Larry Rivera T-shirt. Who cares? Like I was saying, Chico, this... What the thing. hell is Webb doing oh, here? Yeah. Hey, he can, I told you, he, I told you, look, he has in the hand. It's a besa. Yeah, big surprise. What the... A what bottle, a goof. A bottle of beer. What is this? He's, look this, at him. He's he can barely... in the middle of the match. He can barely stand up, stand straight. Look at that. Drunk. He went to the bar. He said he'd be back. He's trying to offer Rosano a cocktail. What is Webb doing? What kind of an idiot is he? Oh! That's it. That. You know what? Why the hell is he Johnny Webb. Here? Webb deserved that. There's He's... so many, so many times that you can get away with being drunk in the ring. And that is the payback. Who the hell comes into a match when it's already in progress? A drunk Johnny Webb. Exactly. What an idiot. Now look at this. The match 
continuing here. This fight, Johnny Webb on the ringside here. Look at this. Duck underneath two times. Hoobie, high cross body. Rosado goes down one, two. No, only two. That was close, Rivera. Excellent match. This is an excellent match. It's an excellent match. That was ruined. That was ruined by the appearance of Johnny Webb because now the glass is all over the ring. The, the possibility of getting caught up. It's like a death match. And look at Webb all bloodied from that bottle. Shot right to the head. Jessica trying to get stalled from pillar to post to the far side. Close line from Hoobie. And Hoobie setting him up for another one. You can see that Hoobie is tired, but he still has the high impact. And now look at this all oh, to the near side, but Hoobie misses Rosado just in the nick of time, barely getting out of the way as this idiot is still on the ringside area. What is wrong with this guy, Rivera? It looks like Johnny Webb was looking for the fine club at ringside for another drink or the beer. What is he doing? Has he not learned his lesson yet? Rosado! And now Webb goes down with his heel kick right to the face. Snapmare takeover. Rosado knee measured him right to the neck of Hoovy. And Webb, I still don't understand. What is he? DDT. One thing you have to say that this Webb. And look, at he just rolled out right onto the concrete floor. This Webb has tremendous intestinal fortitude. Oh, he's drunk. You can tell. Full of alcohol. The face full of blood. Still coming back for more. Perhaps joining Lester in a couple cocktails earlier. Look at this. Irish whip. Oh, look at that web on the ringside. But look at the action in the ring. Oh, the rocker dropper. And you think Johnny Webb has a right home? The designated driver? Listen, man, let's try not to concentrate on that idiot right. Yeah, okay, yeah, hi, it's me. Yeah, great. Who cares? The match at hand is Rosano and Hoovy. And Rosano just nailed Hoovy with the rocker dropper, and now he's got a chair in the ring. And Webb continuing. What is he doing? Look at all the tatuajes. He's of, not even in this match. Of a spider. Maybe that's why they call him Webb. Very good, Rivera. Now what's two plus two? Oh, look at this. Rosano going to the top rope. Hoovy set up on that chair inside of the ring. It's Patrick Hernandez. Oh, wow. look at this. Is he ever going to hit that spot? I don't think so. Never hit one guy, I don't think, doing that. And now Webb, he just walking like he's strolling through the park without a care in the world. And now look at this, interjecting himself literally in this matchup. The camel clutch, camel clutch, clutch Got applied. Oh, wait, Hoovy. He had it cinched in the camel clutch, and then Hoovy came over and nailed Webb, and Webb dangling. Like the clothes dangle from his trailer on the clothesline. And now Hoovy taking advantage of Rosano, whose attention was geared towards Webb. Look at that. Rosano rolling around on the glass. It's, it's a miracle that it's back. It's not all caught up. Who went to? Look at this. High cross body. Springboard over the top. Pescado. And Webb with the steel chair now. Look, he can barely lift it over his head. He's so drunk. Too drunk, too bloody, losing the strength. Oh, look at the blood like a crimson mask. Oh, there, Playboy Buddy Rose. He's had enough. He's had just about enough of Webb. And Webb into the security railing. Chico, we are seeing the body rolls of all. Oh, oh, Oye, oh. Look at this. Hoovy signaling to go upstairs. This could be it, Rivera. Rosano. He's barely, he's stumbling all. Oh, missile drop kick from the top. Beautiful. What a move that was by Hoobie. And look at this signaling for the Hoobie driver. We've seen this before, Rivera. What is Webb doing? He is great. This guy is literally crazy, Rivera. He doesn't give up. He doesn't care. He's almost dead. Oh, look at that. Kick down to Rose from Hoobie on the ringside area. DDT from Rosano, but look at this. Rose coming into the ring with a steel chair. And Webb's in the ring again. Webb gets one from Rose. Goes outside. This Webb is superhuman. Oh, he only, he actually hit Rosano, and now Hoobie's got the chair. Oh, whoa. Right in the ass. Yeah, try swinging a chair and not hitting his ass. One of the biggest targets in all of wrestling. Oh, look at this, the Hoobie driver Ooh. on the steel chair. In the glass. One, two, it's over. What a match, Rivera.
Juventud Guerrera, the victor in this match. Steve Risono coming down, head first on the chair. Webb is celebrating like he won. This guy is nuts. He's, he wants a high five. You know what, Chico, right now, if Webb got pinned, one, two, three, he'd be doing the same thing. He has no idea what is going on. Drunk, pastilla, blood. Obviously, he doesn't know, he doesn't care. But the story here is the victor. Moving to Guerrero over Steve Rosano. As he just clobbered Playboy Buddy Rose in the old Tukas. Moving to Guerrero. Listen, listen to the fans, Rivera. Here in Van Nuys, what a packed house. Look at the face. Look at the face of Risono as he can't believe that his own manager. Look at that face. Betray him. Look at that face. Look at that. If he can see it. Whoa, what is Rizono this? Risono is not believing that his own manager betray him. Wait with a chair. minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Could this, oh. mean, could this mean the end of the association between Buddy Ross and Steve Rosano, the Gigolo? Wait a minute, whoa, what's going on here? Wait a minute, some girl next to me wants to throw her underwear at Rose. But what's going on here? We, we gotta get to the bottom of this next time we see these two. Fans, once again, we are two weeks away from the second annual King of the Deathmatch Tournament here in XPW. Three ways, once again, to get tickets. You can come to the XPW box office at 16140 Ledwell Street. That is in Van Nuys as well. You can go on the internet at xpwrestling.com or call the hotline at 818-779-6479. Both those ways you can get the old credit card out and order tickets like that. And once again, ringside completely sold out for God. this event. Completely gone. Now next week, right here on XPW TV, we're going to find out from the head offices here at XPW. I know when you go and you do a little brown nose in. We're going to find out just who will be in the King of the Death Match Tournament. I mean, I don't know yet. And, fan, let me tell you something. You know Larry Rivera, this like, has a tremendous disgust with this violent crap. But I'm going to tell you something. This bloody Valentine, whatever you're calling my it. Bloody my Valentine. bloody Valentine. bloody Valentine, that's some group from, from the, the, the 80s or something like that. But I'm going to tell you that this night, of violent crap, of brutality at its most brutal, is going to have a complete major impact on the future of the XPW. That I'll agree with you. And you know when I when Larry Rivera, you, you better tell you something. It's the truth, right? Yeah. So so mark my word, big night. Don't miss it. Fans, thank you once again for joining us here on XPW TV. We'll see you next week, right here. You got it, man.